Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into 10 things you should turn off in Windows 11 right now. Because let's face it, Mandy, Windows 11 looks great, runs smooth, but it's also spying on you, slowing you down, and occasionally acting like that nosy neighbor who keeps peeking through the blinds. So grab your mouse, hit that like button, like it owes you money, and let's clean up your PC. First up, startup apps. You know those programs that load the moment your PC wakes up? Yeah, those guys that make your boot time feel like Windows XP all over again. To fix that, go to the startup apps tab. Every program you've ever installed is elbowing its way to the front of the startup line shouting, pick me, I'm important, when 90% of them are just Discord, Spotify, and the updater for a program you used once, maybe in 2024. Be ruthless here. Disable anything that doesn't need to start with Windows. If you don't need Spotify Teams or Zoom launching before your coffee even finishes brewing, turn them off. You can also access the startup apps from the task manager. Just click on the status of an app, then you can enable or disable it. Windows loves to keep apps running in the background, yeah, just in case. In case of what, Microsoft? The apocalypse? Turn off the background apps, go to settings, apps, and then installed apps. Click the three dots uh, on apps you don't use often. Go to advanced options and under background app permissions, set it to never. Your RAM will thank you and your battery will stop crying. Your PC is like a hotel and Apps are the guests, uh, some you're actively using, but a bunch are just lurking in the background, raiding the minibar of your battery life and CPU cycles. Does your calculator app really need to be running in the background? Is it pre-calculating? You know what's worse than spam emails, Windows notifications. Try Microsoft 365. Let's sync your phone. Here's the weather in Antarctica, and so on. Go to Settings, System, Notifications, and toggle off all notifications. Better yet, scroll down and turn off notifications for individual apps. Less pop-ups equals more peace of mind. Also, turn off tips and suggestions. Just click on additional settings. Windows 11 loves to help. But these tips are like your aunt giving you unsolicited life advice. You've been using Windows since forever. You don't need it telling you how to open File Explorer. Next, let's talk ads. Yes, ads in your operating system, because apparently... $100 plus wasn't enough for Microsoft. So turn off targeted ads. Go to settings, privacy, and security, and then general, and turn off the ads. This one should be turned off if it is on. Remember Cortana? She's still hanging around somewhere waiting for you to say hi. If you're not using her, and let's be honest, who is, turn her off. Also, search indexing can slow things down. 
open services and find Windows Search, set it to manual or disabled. Now your PC won't be secretly indexing every meme you've downloaded. Next, turn off telemetry and diagnostics. Go to settings, privacy and security and then diagnostics and feedback. Microsoft collects data to improve your experience. Translation, we're watching you, Dave. Set, send, optional diagnostic data to off. Then scroll down and turn off tailored experiences. Your privacy restored. Unless you really need to know today's horoscope or stock market dip while trying to open Excel, turn off widgets, Okay, now more space, less clutter. No more weather updates about cities you've never heard of. Turn off game mode. This is for non-gamers. Game mode is designed to give games priority on your system resources. Great for gamers. But if the most intense game you play is solitaire, it's just a pointless setting that can sometimes interfere with other applications. Also, stop automatic file and folder sharing in Nearby Sharing. Nearby Sharing is like digital airdrop. Cool feature, but there's a setting that can automatically share files with all your devices. Set, I can share or receive content from to my devices only or everyone nearby based on your preference, but make sure it's not set to everyone permanently. You don't want to accidentally beam a draft of your terrible novel to the entire accounting department when you're just trying to send a PDF to your laptop. Lock this down. All right, this next one is sneaky. And honestly, most people don't even know it's running in the background. It's called delivery optimization. Sounds fancy, right? But... What it actually does is let Windows use your internet connection to upload updates and apps to other PCs, sometimes even people out there on the internet. Basically, your computer turns into a mini update delivery truck. You can turn off the main toggle at the top if you want to shut this feature down completely. This will stop Windows from secretly borrowing your upload speed to help the world update their PCs, your bandwidth, your rules, Seriously, Microsoft, if I wanted to share my internet, I'd open a Wi-Fi hotspot at the coffee shop, and that's it. Ten things uh, you should turn off in Windows 11 right now. Your PC's faster, your privacy's better, and your desktop's cleaner than a fresh Windows install. If you found this video helpful, uh, drop a like, uh, subscribe for more Windows tips, Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.